This is the layout of El Hijaz railway station. <coughs> and here we have the large grinder for pulverizing grain made from volcanic rock and it's made of the volcanic rock of Medina. ये बेसिकली चक्की होती है जिससे ग्रेन्स को जो है वो क्रश किया जाता है साथ ही आपको जो है वो अल अरिद मॉस्क उसका मीनार है साथ में जो मीनार आप देख रहे हैं वो है अल अम्बारिया मॉस्क उसके बाद जो है वो हम देखेंगे मीनार ऑफ किबला तैन यहाँ पे किबला चेंज हो गया था और इसी तरह ये अलीब ने तालिब का पुराना मीनार है <laughs> Come here. Very good. Come here. Mama. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the large grinder made from volcanic rock. This is the and this is the sesam trunk sanduke sesam cheeze save karne ke liye ye sanduk hota tha theek hai box hota tha and this is the model of the main building in the al hijaz railway station ye uska al hijaz railway station ka pure ka pura model hai ye dekhiye yes This is the railway station model. Come here. Model of the main building in the Al Hijaz railway station in Medina, and that was a trunk, which is called Sesam trunk. Again, a sample old trunk. <coughs> and here we have the ceramic Z, which water container over. ठीक है इस तरह के पानी के कंटेनर होते थे इसमें पानी रखते थे फाते ये पानी का ड्रम होता था पीने के लिए बस ऐसे पीते थे ना पानी नो टच दिस इज द जनरल फोटोग्राफ ऑफ अल मदीना इन द ईयर 1907 यहां पे चीज नहीं गुम होती Layout of Al Madina Manavra Museum. This is the ground floor, which contains the museum hall, environment of Madina, Islamic period, and first floor for crushing grains. And this is the Al Gamama Mosque Minare. And this was the Abu Bakr Mosque Minare. And this was the Umar bin Abdul Kata Mosque Minare, Old Minar, and Ali bin Talib. Water basin made from volcanic rock. This was the water basin that was first used. Picture of Mundina Manavara taken from a satellite view. This all contains the geographic location, which is the western side of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and its area is estimated to around one forty eight six eight square kilometer. And <clears throat> it contains all the other detail. And here we have the aerial photograph of Al Madina Manavara. Here you can see. <coughs> this is Al Madina Manavara. This is Wadi Hamd, Wadi Akul, Harat Rahat. The environment. Now we are going to enter the environment of Al Madina Manavara and its natural history. So, this is Jibal. Jibal means mountains. The mountains of Madina Manavra are uh, several chains, Hijaz mountains. One of the most famous of them is the Jibli Uhud, which we have shown in the uh, videos before. Jibli Air, Jibli Arya, Jibli Roma, and Jibli Salah. Jibli Uhud, which extends from east to west 5 kilometers, north of the Prophet Mosque, is most famous historical mountain in Al Madina, the Battle of Uhud having been named after it. And this is Harat. Harat means this is an Al Madina Manavra occupies an intermediate position between three haras, which are all part of the large hara. <coughs> Wait, Harat al Kubra, 
Harat Vakim and Eastern Harat and this is like a defensive barrier and this is the Al Wadia. Wadia means valley. There are numerous famous wadis of Madina Manavra, Wadia Kik, Wadia Batan, Wadia Roha and Wadia Kana in Al Madina which joins Wadia Lakik north of Madina and this is Wadia Manah. This is the climate. The climate of Madina Manava is dry and temperate in general. Temperature range from 30 to 45 centigrade in summer and 10 to 25 degrees in winter. Humidity is low for the most of the years and only increases when rain falls. Like Unfortunately, wind blows at an average speed. And here we have this is the Haris stone of Medina, Hijre Hari. <coughs> this is quartz. This is volcanic magma. This is pink quartz, this is flint stone, and this is the red marble volcanic ash stone, rock core from <coughs> a gate stone, this is fossilized tree trunk, and this is a gate was collected from Wadi Al Akik in Al Madina. And now they have aromatic medical herbs. These are all herbs that are used in the Madina. This is the Shih, Madina Peppermint, the Baj, the Doshi, the Organo, the Lamam Green Tea, and this is the Etra Rose Germanium. This all shows the dams in Madina Manavara. It's, it's very familiar with the dam construction since early Islamic times. It contains the dam of Moabia, the Wadi Rwana dam and the dam of Asim. This is the Asim dam in Wadi al -Akik. And this is Ranwana Wadi dam. And here the plants and animals in Medina. You can see the palm tree farms in Al Madina Manavara. Now we're going in the other direction, which is on the first floor. So we're going there. You can see the Turkish architecture here. It's vastly used here because it's a Turkish museum. So okay, this is Al Madina Manavara at the time of this is Tariqa Dul Hijra Al Madina Manavara. The route of the Hijra to Madina Manavara. When permission was granted from Messenger of Allah to immigrate to Al Madina, he informed Abu Bakr of his desire and he accompanied him on the journey. When they left Makkah, they headed to the cave in Jabal Isar when they remained for three nights. Then, the following day, they set out a guide who led them a path parallel to the route taken by the caravans until reach Al Hudaybiya and then Gadir Khum. Misaki Madina Munawra, which was the charter of Al Madina, it was very famous. It was drafted by the Prophet Muhammad in order to govern the relation between himself and the people of Al-Madina Manavra. And it is a very, very, very famous charter. Here you can see. You can also take a screenshot from here. Here are the letters of Prophet This is the handwriting of Prophet Muhammad letter. And it was, it was to the Ila Harkal Azim Rome, to the Roman Emperor. And this was the Muhre Nabuat, Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You can take the picture screenshot here. And it was given to the governor of Bahrain. <coughs> and this was letter given to the governor of Egypt. This is inscription from the 2nd century, which is 8th AD, and you can see the inscriptions here. You can also take screenshot. La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah alone, no associate is there to him. This was the Byzantine coins used in Medina during the Prophet this is the dirhams that was used during Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ahead. 
and this was the gold dinar. After that, we have on behalf of Abu Huraira from the Prophet banned the Al Muzaffar, Al Hantam, and Al Naki. Abu Huraira was asked. <coughs> What is al hantam? He said green jars, banning the fermentation in utensils or the manufacture of non-alcoholic rum because the green jars are painted with a glazed cover which make it known for us. So, this Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prohibit kar diya tha. Painted ceramic jar glazed with blue alkaline glazed from the type used in the time of Prophet known as al hantam utensils. And this is the circular incense burner with a seater handle from the time used during the time of prophet ye wo tha candle to use kiya jata tha chirag and ye jo hai baad mein modified form mein tha chirag <coughs> now this is ader rasool mein madina munawwara kaisa tha this was the exact picture they have tried to make imagery and this is the description here we have ghazwat rasool jushra salam ne jin ghazwat mein shirkat ki hai ghazwa bagar ghazwa ohad ghazwa khandak and battle of badr ohad and battle of trench बाज़ गजवात रसूल जिसमें सुलह उदैबिया फ़तेह मक्का 